Hello everybody, Joe Bagdones here, and welcome back for another episode of Muff Love Alternative. Last time we we uh managed to escape the fucked up timeline, and now we're back to the other fucked up timeline, but this one is uh marginally better. Not really, but you know, we, we promised that we'd uh we'd fix the timeline, so now we're on a time mission quest as well as a defeat the beta quest, you know. We're we're on a stereo quest now. Anyway, uh last time we just got here. Now, Tucker's surprised because someone's coming in. Let's find out who it is. Oh, God. My volume's turned up way too loud. There we go. Sensei. After the way I acted, and the awful things I said to her, I doubt this is just going to blow over. I can't just blame it on the drugs or the hypnotherapy, either. Not that it would excuse my actions, anyway. Uh, she even said she no longer had any use for me, so perhaps there's not even a place for me here anymore. But the thing is, I've got my own pillar of strength to rely on this time. Just like Mei and the others can always lean back on Japan and their heritage for guidance, I've got my own foundation in all these worlds I've roped into this mess. And i found the resolve to restore all the timelines I've thrown out of whack. Which means there's only one thing for me to do. I'm sorry, Yugo-sensei. I made a complete ass of myself. <laughs> I know you might ha not have any use for me anymore. You're probably wondering why I even came back at all. Uh, but please, you have to let me stay here. I'm begging you. <laughs> you can chew me out as much as you like. I won't ask, uh, I won't ask you to forgive me for what I've done. <laughs> uh, but please, give me one more chance. I... I have to save all the worlds I've screwed up. It's my fault they've been roped into this mess. Please, Sensei. <sighs> She's probably like, what the fuck are you talking about? He, yes? I'm... I'm not? Yes. But I mean, like, when I first came to this world, you... Stop. Inside voices, please. Ah, okay, sorry. Huh? Right. あんたは私のおかげで救世主ごっこができた。私はオルタネイティブ4にとって重要な数式を手に入れた。それだけよ。Play the hero, huh? Yeah, no kidding. In retrospect, that's exactly what I was doing. I was way too naive, a total weakling. And as a result, I ended up getting people needlessly killed and hurting those I most wanted to protect. Not to mention, if I don't fix this, I, I might just cost several billion people their lives. Look, I know it's uh, childish to think I deserve another chance, but I'll do whatever it takes to earn your forgiveness. Yeah, she doesn't, she doesn't really blame you for, for piecing out. Yes, I realize that. I get that, really, but I still need you to let me stay here. Huh? Yeah. Ah, damn it. If I'm ever going to restore order to these worlds, I have to get rid of whatever it was that made me a uh, causality conductor. And I can't do that without Yuko-sensei's help. Oh, come on, think, 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 think. Oh, what can I do? Ah, oh, there's got to be some way I can be of use to Yuko-sensei and her plans. <laughs> ah, damn it! I can't think of anything. Oh, is there really nothing else I can offer her? Do I tell her about me being a causality conductor and how I need to return our worlds to normal? No, oh, that won't work. Oh, the only world that needs to be fixed is the one I interfered with from here. As far as this world's concerned, there's no benefit to that at all. And besides, 
she was capable of predicting that I would run away like I did, then she has to then she has to know that already. I can't just predict the future for her anymore. So what do I do? Hang on, I'll think of something. Just give me a little more time. Huh? In interview with who? Yes, please. By all means, I'll take the interview. I'll take any job I can get at this point. I just need an excuse to stay here. Well, you're still in the military here, but you've just gone AWOL, but... Okay. Huh? What do you mean? Cool. What? Zero Zero Unit? The key to alternative four and humanity's trump card. So she finally finished it, huh? Yeah, what? What's today's date? How many days has it been since then? Ah, damn it. Ever since Marmo Chan died in this world, I haven't been keeping track. And here I was able to. And here I was always the one to be so concerned about staying on schedule. But at the very least, I can be sure that it's not Christmas yet. And now that the double O unit is complete, it's pretty safe to assume that there's no chance of Alternative 5 being enacted overnight anymore. I mean, I am happy, but. Ah, damn it. After what happened to Marmo Chan and Sumika, it's hard to feel generally overjoyed about anything. I can't keep on like this. I'll end up breaking the promise I made with the other Yuko Sensei. I was hoping I can stay and help see it through to the end. <laughs> Even after I save this world, I still have to find out what it was that made me a causality conductor to begin with. So the faster this war ends, the better. Huh? What do you mean, meat? I mean, don't get me wrong, I want to see the thing, but what about my interview? Well, the whole point of the Zero Zero unit is to, like, emulate a human brain, so meat, I suppose, would be a fitting term. Bring it up? So it's portable? Um, Sensei? What? I'm excited to see the Double O unit, don't get me wrong, but what about my interview? Yeah, you're going to be interviewing, well, being interviewed by... Yeah. Oh, well, okay then. Guess my job must have something to do with the double O unit. Maybe it's like an assistant operator position or something? So hey, uh, just out of curiosity, is the double unit pretty small? Like, could you just carry it around with you? You guess? I was kind of hoping for more concrete... Huh? Already? What's up, Cosme? Cosme! Oh god, I... Uh, Cosme? <sighs> bum bum bum! Sumika? Well, I suppose now we can test the theory about what happens to the memories that go through go through to this time well Go through the causality pipeline, see where they end up. 
if they do actually end up over here, just in the space between timelines. Sumika? Is that really her? Sumi... No. No, that can't be. It doesn't make sense. Why is Sumika in this world? I thought... I thought she wasn't supposed to be here. Huh? What the beta? What the? What's she talking about? Every last one of who? No difference in what? Letting her see me? Sensei, what, what the hell is going on here? That's not what I'm asking. Just, just who the hell is this? That's not Sumika. It can't be. You're the one who said she didn't exist in this world. What? Zero zero unit, do you? Zero zero unit? This is the zero zero unit? So, Anta got put in the Sui Ski no Kage de Kanseh shita no yo. Why does the double O unit look exactly like Sumika? What kind of sick joke is this? Let me guess. You made this using the images, causing me read from my mind, didn't you? This is just fucked up, is what it is. What? No, don't. Uh, if you let it get, get to your head, you'll just be making the same mistake as last time. Uh, if I keep letting my emotions get the best of me, I'll lose sight of what I came back to this world to do. Gotta stay calm, otherwise I'll just be Sensei's little pawn all over again. This is Insumika. It's the double O unit. それこそがベータ殺す。殺す。殺す。殺してやる。皆殺しにしてやる。Hmm, <laughs> seems like it's got some bugs to be worked out there, Doc. Why is she freaking out like this? And holy shit, even her voice is identical to Sumika's. Huh? Hey, are you okay? Hey, snap out of it. Oh, this isn't good. All I can think about is how badly I injured her in the other world. Why does humanity's secret weapon look exactly like Sumika? Uh, why did you have to make it in her image? Hey, what's wrong? Oh, her knees look like they're about to buckle. She's holding her head in her hands. Is she in pain? <laughs> Sensei, aren't you gonna help her? Sensei! Are 
Are you okay, Sumika? <laughs> whoa, 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 hey! Sensei, why are you standing there? Did she just pass out? Nah, this can't be right. The double unit's supposed to be some kind of machine, isn't it? So here's the question. Is this, is this a cyborg or an android? What the hell is going on here? Huh? Look, man. I've been going through some shit. When did that happen? Hi. Kazumi. Thanks. Dude, it's been like three days. Cut us some slack. Also, we should we should apologize to Cosme. We did fucking just dip out on her. I mean, I can't exactly refute that. But even so, isn't this a bit much? What do you mean? Anta よかったわね。この世界に居場所ができたじゃない。はやしろ。もういいわ。連れて行きなさい。はい。あ、damn Hang on a second. What's my excuse to stay here? What job, job did this get hired for? Zero zero unit no debacle to 調整作業。私はもっとエレガントに調律って言ってるけど. So then you've decided I might still be useful, still be a useful pawn? いったでしょ。利害の一致だって。その意味では前のように対等に扱ってあげる。uh, thank you. I appreciate it. Wait, Sensei, one last question. Why does the double O unit. Sensei? Top secret mission? So, Thank you for covering us up, us going AWOL. I appreciate it. It's been taken care of. What does that mean? Uh, but Sensei, do the others even, even remember me anymore? Do you go? Well, you're back now, so you're just like, oh yeah, him. Huh? Didn't you say that using the device would make them... Oh, that's Huh? Oh. I see. You fixed both problems at the same time? Well, that sounds a little too good to be true. Uh, come to think of it, why would you leave my room intact anyway? Did Sensei suspect I might come back? Or rather, did she know I would? Good Wait, Sensei, why did you... Wait, Sensei, Ah, damn it. Ah, so you're saying you don't actually consider us equals, is that it? Yeah, no shit, I already knew that much. Yeah。たとえあんたが将軍になろうが大統領になろうが、結局誰かに使われるだけ。権力が欲しいとか言ってたけど、組織の中で立場に応じた身の振り方もできないやつには一生無理な話ね。その辺のこと、さっきにでも教えてもらったな。明日。
また呼ぶわその時までには頭冷やしておきなさい yeah, We should go apologize to Maya Like Like it was real fucked up What we did before we left So you should, you should go do that Like first thing Okay I understand I hate to admit it But she's right I've just got to be patient for now Uh, there's so much I want to ask her about the double unit and Sumika and why she apparently planned、uh, around me coming back. But at the same time, I only just got back. There's no telling what might happen next. But we can at least assume there is very little chance that Alternative 5 being enacted on the 24th now.、Uh, when I think about all the worlds I've screwed up, I can't help but get impatient. But I really ought to just take things one step at a time. I can't make the same mistake I made last time. It feels so weird to be back. I was only gone for a week,、uh, but it feels like much longer than that. When I left, I was so sure I'd never walk these halls again. But now that I'm back, I feel strangely at ease. Almost like I've come home. God, that, does, that doesn't even make sense anymore. Well, you, you have lived here for like three ish, four years, essentially. No one's out walking around.、Uh, maybe lights out. Must be lights out already. Though, that's almost a good thing, as far as I'm concerned. I know it should be safe to interact with the people of this world, but since there's no way to know for certain, I can't help but feel a little anxious. But even so, I'm going to do this. I have to. I don't care even if they do forget me, I've got a job to do. I'm gonna find what made me a causality conductor and destroy it, even if it's the last thing I do. Takeru? Takeru なのか Maya! Ah,、oh, damn it, that's not fair. You can't just sneak up on me like that. God, go figure. The first person I run into has to be the hardest one to face. Ah,、uh, why does it feel like nothing ever goes my way? I didn't even get the time to process all this new information. Takeru. Actually, no.、Uh, that's not a bad thing right now. It's better that I don't have time to overthink this. Just fucking deal with it. Get out of the way. Rip off the band aid. I came back here to overcome my naivete. Yeah. I don't speak French. My weakness and all my other shortcomings. So, I have to take responsibility for my problems and not just run away from them. Maya? Uh, yeah, earlier today. <laughs> Hey, why are you. Ah! Imanoa, Minani damate tabunda! Ah! Imanoa, Minao simpai sasa tabunda! Ah! Saigo, Ujini modo te kitakuta. Eda. Ah! That frickin' hurt! Thanks, Maya. Glad I can still count on you to put me in my place with a good hard slap. Maya. Maya. Sorry. Thanks for worrying about me. Thanks. Are you really crying over me? Why would you waste your tears on a scumbag like me? Once I fell off my high horse and realized I was a weakling, I tried to take my frustrations out on you like a total degenerate, and you're still crying for me? I'm really sorry, Maya. What I did was. Maya. 
自らに課せられし宿命に立ち向かう覚悟ができたようだな。Yeah, about time, right? 最前線での任務はそれほどまでに過酷だったのだな。Front lines, huh? That's just the excuse Yuko Sensei came up with, but it does kind of feel like that's where I was. As a causality conduct. I keep saying, I, I really want to say causality as causality. Causality conductor. Even when I try to run back to my old piece of world, death followed in my wake. There's no place for me to run and hide. Not anymore. Ironically, the only place that's safe from the effects of the causality conductor is the world in which the source of it lies. And until I get rid of that, anywhere I go will become the front lines, both for me and the people I put in danger. I'm not going to run away anymore, Maya. I'm not going to blame others for my own shortcomings, and I won't try to justify the fact that I ran away from my problems. Soka. I can finally understand why you acted the way you did during the coup d'etat, and the meaning、uh, behind everything Her Highness told me. Denka ga. And what you said to me the other,、uh, the day that Sergeant Kin. Ooh, ooh, let's try that again. And what you said to me the day that Sergeant Jinguji died. I finally understand it all. Your words, the way you live your life,、uh, they've always haunted me, even when I'm out on the front lines. I mean, what do you want me to say? It's the truth. Never change, no matter what world you're in. When I interact with the other Maya, interacted with the other Maya, all the things you said、uh, the day I ran away came back to haunt me. Whenever you, come into my, when, ooh, whenever you came into my mind, I realized just how pathetic I was being. In a sense, that was what helped me find my resolve. That, and one other thing. While I was there, I ran into some people I thought I'd never see again. So I decided, right then and there, that I'm going to keep on fighting so that I never have to lose them again. Just like you said, and like your highness helped me realize, there are some things that only I can do, and I'm not going to run away from them anymore. So, if, you're, if it's okay with you, I want you to watch over me. And if one day you think I've earned your respect again, I'd like you to forgive me. <laughs> Yeah, guess she did. Nah, I think I'm good. Can't afford to die just yet. Yeah, she could have hit like with the base of her palm where it's like the real meaty muscly. That's it's, it's... It's like getting fucking punched by someone if they slap you with that. Dang, seriously?、Uh, in any case, yeah, thanks for letting me off easy. <laughs> Baka. Oh, and by the way, I'm pretty sure I'll be back with the rest of the unit tomorrow.、Uh, depending on what Yuko sensei has in mind, of course. <laughs> yeah, hope so. Right, I still gotta make amends with everyone else, too. And also meet、uh, the other members of our unit because they should be back by now. You were, huh? I can't believe you guys were worried about me, even after I left without a single word. Thank you so much. That's even more reason to be worried about you. Huh? Yeah, everyone, you're gonna get. You're gonna get some pretty good. Wasn't one of those supposedly to cover up,、uh, upsetting everyone else, though? Got it. If that's all it takes to make it up to you guys, I'll gladly take a few punches. <laughs> Deva, so 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 so. Oh, yeah, that's right. I'm an officer now. 
Speaking of which, why are you out so late anyway? 訓練校のトラックを走ってきた。そなたが入隊したての頃、夜に出会ったであろう。Oh, right. Your independent training routine. Gotcha. Still keeping up with it? Even after enlistment, eh?、Uh, that's just like her. 今日のところはゆっくりと休むがよい。では、明日な。Okay. Night, Maya. おやすみ、タケル。It really does feel like I've come home. After what happened, I hated this place so much that I leapt at the chance to run away. But my old bedroom didn't feel nearly as much like home as this one does now. Yeah, nothing quite like getting back home after a long trip and just. just the smell, you know? The smell of your own house in your own room. It's like, ah, nice. <laughs> 失敗を怖がって何もできない人より失敗をしてもいいから前に進んでいつか結果を出す人の方がいいと思うわ人は死を確信した時持てる力の限りを尽くし何にも恥じない死に方をするべきなのよだけど生きてなせることがあるならそれを最後までやり遂げるべきよあなたとあなたの才能が生み出すものはこれから何万人という英子の命を救うわ少なくとも私はそう信じている今まであなたが見せてくれたものはそう信じさせてくれるのよ白金、ね、そなたはその優れた資質ゆえにいつか人の上に立つこともあるでしょう人の上に立つということは多くの責任を背負い多くの決断を下さねばならぬということです国家や組織はそのよって立つところが違えばおのおのの理想や信念が異なるものそれは人も同じです何かなそうとすれば必ずそれをよしとするものとあしとするものがいるでしょうされどそれぞれの立場に立ってものを見ることができればおのおのがよりどころとする正しさも見えてきましょうそして悲しいことですがそれらすべての者たちの望みを満たす道が常にそなたの前にあるとは限りませんその時そなたは何によって決断しどのような道をかの者たちに指し示すのかその時もしそなたに迷いがあったなら原点を顧みること立ち止まる勇気を持つのですそして自らの手を汚すことを意図てはならないのです。道を指し示そうとする者は、背負うべき責務の重さから目を背けてはならないのです。心は自由であっても良いと思う。だが、その立ち振る舞いや発言は、常に周囲への影響を考慮すべきであろう。それが、そなたのように、天部の才を与えられし者に課せられた宿命だ。So many people have told me the same thing in so many different ways. But it wasn't until I lost something important to me that I realized I never understood a thing. Sergeant Jinguji, Jinguji Sensei. I took so many stupid detours before I finally arrived at this realization, and it cost both of you your lives. And I lost the one thing I wanted to protect, all as a result of my own weakness. But I promise you. I'm not gonna let your sacrifice be in vain. I'll do my duty as one of those left behind and save as many people as I possibly can. No matter what people might say or think about me, I'm gonna carry out the task set out、uh, for me and me alone. So please, watch over me, if you would, until the day I come and join you. Sumika, 
I'm so sorry for all the pain and heartache I put you through. I've decided to stay here and fight, and see this through to the very end. I'm gonna fix our world, don't you worry. So just try and bear with me a little longer. Sumika. Well, it's a good thing we found her so fast. Man, who would have thought? The key to alternative four, the double O unit. I should be thrilled that it's finally complete, but man, I didn't think it looked like that. I guess I always envisioned it as some huge machine or a device of some sort, which is why it came as such a shock. I mean, what the hell is the deal with that thing? Why does it look like Sumika? Like, it's a one-to-one -one replica all the way down to her voice. Not to mention, when it started freaking out and I instinctively reached out and touched it, I could feel that it was soft and warm. Obviously, this world's come a long way in the fields of cloning and cell culture technology. I mean, just look at Kazumi. So in that regard, it shouldn't be too surprising. Able-bodied soldiers are a precious resource here, and they're not above human experimentation, so they've undoubtedly made great strides in medical technology of all sorts. I've heard plenty of stories in which surface pilots who lost their limbs were sent back into the battlefield with artificial replacements. But, in the case of the double-O unit, why would she ever need to make it seem so human? And why would she base it on Sumika, of all people? Uh, since Sumika doesn't exist in this world, she clearly must have based it off an image of her that Kazumi read from my memories. Uh, but still... Why would she go out of her way to replicate Sumika specifically? Yuko Sensei may be pretty messed up in this world, but she's not so sick that she'd do something like this without a good reason. I guess the simplest explanation would be that there's some highly important reason for the double unit to look so human. I can't imagine what, but if there weren't, there'd be no point in painstakingly modeling it after one. I'll bet it must have something to do with Alternative Four's true objective. But even then, of all the humans they could have picked, why Sumika? Nope, I've got nothing. But that's understandable, considering I've ha I have hardly an any information to go off of. Okay, now how about we think about this in reverse? What good would come of it looking like Sumika? Uh, it can't just be an attempt to make me feel more motivated, right? She did say something about how she didn't know if, uh, know if it finished. No, oh. she did say something about how she didn't know if finishing it the day after I left was good or bad timing, didn't she? Did she model it after Sumika to try to keep me from leaving this world, where she shouldn't exist? And then her plans got thrown awry at the last minute when Marimo Chan died. Nah, that can't possibly be it she needed me back then, she never would have let me go back in the first place. Uh, she wouldn't go to all that trouble, just to risk me never coming back again. Maybe she made it look like Sumika as a security measure? Like, as a way of keeping the alternative, uh, keeping the anti-alternative factions and Alternative 5 supporters from recognizing it? Uh, would that make any sense? I doubt they'd expect the double unit to look so human. I mean, who would have ever guessed that the key to humanity's salvation would look like a teenage girl? Not to mention, since Sumika doesn't exist in this world, uh, I'm the only human alive who'd recognize her, recognize it as her. I see. Yeah, that would make sense. I'm supposed to be dead in this world, which is why tsukiyomi san and Chief Yoroi were suspicious of, suspicious of me at first. Actually, they probably still are. But Sumika. They've got nothing on her. If there are no existing records of her whatsoever, how could they possibly find out she's an imposter? And what's more, by sending me back to my world, uh, she'd be ensuring that there was no one at all here who knew the original Sumika. Yeah, when you think about it that way, it makes some amount of sense. I think I get it now. That must be wh what she meant when she said that the W unit would help make me more stable. 
because she knew she could never send me back to my original world, only to another version of the same timeline. So in that regard, any Sumiko would be better than no Sumiko, right? Just another one of Sensei's signature half-truths, I guess. For the longest time, I've just been accepting everything she says as law and trying to paint it in a positive light. Uh, we're only working together... We're only... Yeah, 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 I can read. We're only working together because we share a common interest, though. It's my own fault for taking her words at face value. God, I was so naive. One thing I know for sure, though, is that the double-O unit is vital to both Yuko-sensei and Alternative 4 as a whole. Which means, if this tuning work she's got lined up for me allows me to control the double unit at will, uh, that'll put me in a pretty advantageous position. Then Yuko-sensei wouldn't have a choice but to help me find whatever made me a causality conductor. I can't afford to take the moral high ground or refuse to play dirty. I can't afford, yeah, yeah, I can't afford to take the moral high ground or refuse to play dirty. If I don't have a couple tricks up my sleeve, I'm just gonna keep getting used. Our relationship can't be so one-sided this time. I have to get something out of her in return. I won't just be manipulated anymore. I've gotta level out the playing field. December 18th. I've been away from my unit for a whole week now. Captain? Ma'am? あの状況で最前線に出撃し、よくぞ生還したな。新任ながら、見事な精神力だ。あ、独立した指揮系統下にある我が隊は、オルタネイティブ計画の先方として、常に極限の任務を課せられる。副司令の立案する作戦が楽だった試しが一切ないことを、我が隊の者は嫌というほど思い知らされているからだ。すでに知っていると
Second Lieutenant Shiragane reporting for duty. Proud to be of service. Yeah, to be fair, I don't remember much about the time, considering all the drugs. Thank you, ma'am. Likewise, Captain. Yes, ma'am? What is it? Sick. Huh? Yeah, I get that. Can't say I'm surprised. The sensei is definitely not one to pay much heed to formalities. Oh, I like the squadron. Alright, understood. Pleased to meet you. Wow, she seems so gentle. Certainly wouldn't have pegged her for a soldier at first sight. Suzumiya是指揮者寮から戦機関制をしてくれる。こう見えても怖い女だからな。怒らせないように気をつけろ。Aren't they... Aren't these two from the, uh... The, the other visual novel that this, uh... This company made before Mouth Love? They look familiar. Uh, yeah. Pleased to meet you. イスミバルキリーズへようこそ。期待してるわよ。で、イスミバルキリーズ。部隊のニックネームよ。イスミ隊員のバルキリー中隊っていう意味。Oh, okay. There were 12 Valkyries in North Mythology, and the squadron consists of 12 TSFs. And to think my parents used to say video games can't teach you anything. Heh. <laughs> uh, try not to get too hard on me, please. Try not to go too hard. Yeah, don't get hard either. That'd be weird. Man, talk about coming on strong. Who greets someone like that? Uh, maybe this is just your average banter for regular soldiers, though. Pleased to meet you. Thanks. Uh, she seems like she's got a good head on her shoulders. Hope it stays there. Ouch. Huh? Hell yeah. Wait, huh? As long as it feels... Uh, oh, right. Somehow, she didn't strike me as the open book type, but okay. So. It's generally bad practice to, uh, to fuck the people that you work with because when things go south, uh, it, it makes things really, really weird for everyone else that you work with, and it's not a good time. I don't recommend it. Uh, okay? Sheesh, what's with these people? Uh, they're pretty damn casual for a special task force in which the death toll rises with every mission. Pleased to meet you. Will do, thanks. She seems a little too do docile to be a service pilot, I feel like. She's got that rich girl air to her, but not in the same way as, as Maya. Yeah, she seems very shoujo manga. Uh, Kashiwagi? 
So you're in this world too, huh? Pleased to meet you. Uh, since Hakuro was turned into a surface pilot training academy in this world, it only makes sense for Kashiwagi to be here. Though that would also mean that all my other classmates, uh, the ones that aren't here, must have already been killed off. この前のベータ機種が2度目だからな。ま、私たちから見れば記録上の it's a pleasure, Lieutenant. Nice to see you not concussed for once. Ah, Suzumiya. Looks like you were top of your class in this world, too. Sure, maybe Class Rep Squad had a ton of political obstacles to circumnavigate, but your team still pulled through and graduated the first time around. That's definitely nothing to sneeze at. Yeah, I uh, heard a lot of stories about you from Cla uh, <clears throat> Lieutenant Sakaki. Uh, sounds like you're pretty skilled yourself. Got it. Good to see that she and Class Rep are pretty close in this world too, and that she still got some spunk. What's up, guys? Right. Yeah, I, rem I remember some of you. Uh, even I can, even I can tell that I'm making a super awkward face right now. Ah, damn it. Yes. とりオッケー。視力を尽くして任務に当たれ。中隊、副所。視力を尽くして任務に当たれ。聖ある限り最善を尽くせ。聖ある限り最善を尽くせ。決して犬死にするな。決して犬死にするな。以上だ。Fight to your very last breath, make your death count. Got it. よし。では城金はここに残れ。他のものは戦闘訓練だ。早瀬、頼んだぞ。了解。以上。解散。ヘレ。So there's a really really sharp angled salutes. I don't know how they were taught to do it, but usually what you do is you put like the tip of your index wingle, the finger, 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 to like the end of your eyebrow if you're wearing glasses to the tip of that or the hat, you know, the tip of your hat. But essentially that 45 degree angle, you want to have your arm, uh, you know, parallel to the ground, you know, a little, a little, a little, a little tilted too. If you're British, you'll fucking slap it so your palm's facing outward, but here in the States, we kind of do it the other way. Right. Right. Okay. I'm sure, let's fucking fast track that shit. Fair enough. Yoshi! Deva Kyokara Sujit no Idani, Oki Kuakete, Mitsuno Hanashios. Hajimini, A zero one butai no Nimunitsuite. Sigini, Beta to Jisen no Senjis in Tsuite. Saigoni, Shiosu Kitani Tsuite. Ooh, we get upgrades? Okay. Kyoa Mazu. A01部隊の使用任務について説明する。オルタネイティブ第4計画に関しては今更説明の必要はないな。Nope. Huh? Alternative 4. 
Uh, the captain just dropped that bomb like it was nothing. Uh, isn't this the first time I've, I'd be hearing about it, uh, as far as she knows? Well, you know, we're, we're Yuko Sensei's special little boy who works directly for her, so it's fair to assume that, you know, she knows that you knows about Alternative 4. Oh, right. <laughs> yes, she did. I gotcha. So Yuko Sensei's already told the captain some things about me then. Uh, but I don't know how much the captain knows about it, so I guess it's going to be pretty tough to figure out as much as I can divulge, how much I can divulge. I see. So we don't have any involvement with the normal run-of-the-mill missions. Just the... we just focus solely on Alternative 4. Nice. Oh, uh, so that's why they uh, suffered casualties when the beta surfaced in Nikata. I do remember Yuko-sensei saying that UN forces wouldn't go on the offensive without a formal request from the Japanese government. Wait, you captured live beta? Is that in our job description too? I see. Uh, it definitely makes sense, though. With the project's uh, completion as their highest priority, I'd imagine they're more concerned about productive missions than destructive ones. Right. Oh. Huh? That's a good way to get some baseline data. Wait, so it wasn't just our squadron testing out the proof of concept OS? Uh, Captain, when exactly did you start testing the XM3? That early? That's practically the same time as us. Yeah, the whole base got caught on the back foot with that one. No, really, it's fine. I guess I shouldn't be surprised. There's no way Yuko Sensei would rely solely on us cadets for such an important project. Maybe, uh, A01 did all the real development, and she only gave us the XM3 to make sure we wouldn't die during the coup d'etat. Given her track record, I definitely wouldn't put it past her. Actually, Captain, if you don't mind me asking, what was your mission during the coup d'etat? Right. Makes sense for a unit of commissioned officers to be guarding a fortress on the front lines. And yet, I really don't see how putting Unit A01 on a mission like that would directly benefit Alternative 4 at all. Uh, not that we cadets had any business being deployed either. I do remember Sensei saying that the coup might be a good opportunity for us. But why? Why do I feel like that wasn't just a coincidence? Uh, that basically means that no matter which fortress the Shogun fled to, the A01 would either be escorting her to Yokohama base or close enough to dash in and fight off her pursuers. That seems too perfect. Even Chief Hiroi seemed pretty impressed with her at the time. Why is it that Yuko Sensei's plans always seem to go off without a hitch? 
Obviously, she might have known a lot about what was going on behind the scenes, but there's no way she could have acted accurately predicted the Shogun's every move like that. I mean, didn't she say that she had no way of falsifying my records within the Shogunate's database? I assume that means she got no she's got no pawns on the inside there. So she couldn't have known that her highness's main goal was to draw fighting as far away from the capital as possible. Maybe she just put A01 closer to the action because she figured we'd be safer in Hakone? But that still begs the question. How could any of that have benefited Alternative 4? What was she trying to achieve? Well, regardless, it's thanks to these guys' as backup that we were able to make it past the Kiekawa toll booth. It makes you realize just how narrow the perspective of any one soldier in the field really is. I've got to step up my game. I'll never be able to face Tsuka Sensei on equal ground if I'm content to stay in my clueless little bubble. I didn't know. So your mission, uh, your unit was the one that backed us up during all that, huh? Zoda. Then I guess it's thanks to you guys that we managed to get the job done, huh? Nega. Kekatekini wareware no soshi nimu wa shippai datta to kanwaite. In what way? I mean, you kept bringing in more reinforcements, so. Ano toki, teki ni kute sakusen o kezdan sasete shimatta no wa osuraku wareware da. Oh, you were you were too good. Huh? Why do you say that? XM3 を搭載した我々の足止めが効果的すぎたんだ。Uh, what? それが敵を焦らせ、あの奇策を呼んでしまったと考えられる。You put him in a corner. I see. それが結果的に、殿下や貴様たちをより危機的な状況に追い込むことになってしまった。これでは任務成功とは言えない。I still don't consider it a failure, personally. You managed to prevent the reinforcements from pursuing us, so I'd say you accomplished your mission. なるほど。確かにその通りだが、それが正しいとされるのは、人間相手の戦争での話だ。人間同士で戦っていた時代のボトムアップ、トップダウン型の司令系統では、異質な存在であるベータと戦うことはできない。That's right. I studied this when I was commissioned in the last loop. Kunlenbutai的教育は、素人を短期間に軍隊という異常な世界に慣れさせ、兵士に仕立て上げるために考案されたものだ。だからこそ、あえて古い概念を実践し、人間性を踏みにじり、完全服従を要求している。I want to go that far, but. Yes. Huh? Huh? Yep. First night when I had basic, just all right, everyone fucking strip down and get in the showers. It's it's really awkward at first, but by like the second, third week, you, you just don't care. I just want to take my shower, man. Now that's news to me. I knew it was like that on the front lines, but wow. Yeah. Lucky thumb. I see. I say we kind of owe our privacy to Maya then. When you consider that Japan's the host country for Alternative 4, it's easy to see why they try to stay on the Shogunate's good side. Uh, it's the same reason they're letting Tsukiyomi's unit, being st uh, unit be stationed here. Though that doesn't explain the individual rooms, if they were all girls anyway. Maybe they just wanted to keep everyone from getting too close to Maya? Interesting. So, Captain Izumi knows about everyone's backgrounds then? I guess that's to be expected, though, since she's the one who's got to look out for them. 
個室や便所が優遇されたとしても羞恥心やプライバシーを鈍化させる必要はあるそうしておかなければ素性がどうであれ前線において一番困るのは本人だからな訓練兵の強化装備を思い出してみろ全面がほぼ透明なのは無着色皮膜の方がはるかに安価という理由だけではないぞあ正規軍では男も女もないからなあれにならされてしまえば大概のことはもう恥ずかしくなかろう、yeah. You can't worry about seeing a girl's boobs when you're trying to seal up a sucking chest wound because she just got fucking shot through the lung. Ah,、uh, so that's why they made us wear those. It all makes sense now. Well, it certainly worked for me. After a while, I didn't even think twice about it, and it seems like the others didn't either. Yes. Yes. Yeah, what if, what if the person in charge dies? Right. Yeah,、uh, Major Walken and First Lieutenant Tsukiyomi san said the same thing. In this world, the beta control the skies, so aerial attacks are pretty much unthinkable. Once again, rip my boy, Major Walken, you will be missed. Alright, we're on the same page about what it takes to fight the beta. But I still think your operation was,、uh, was a success. So did they? The enemy's aerial assault may have been successful, but we were still able to rescue our highness. See, I think it really depends on what your criteria are for calling something a success or a failure. And for me, it's always the outcome that's most important. <laughs> Whether you're fighting humans or beta, it's extremely rare for everything to go according to plan. That's why the elements of timing and luck also play a huge role. If you can take advantage of the, unpredict、oh, of the unpredictables and still manage to produce the desired results, then I'd call that a success. Actually, no. That's just something Sergeant Jinkuchi taught me. Sorry. It's what she told us when we passed the CCSC. I'm just paraphrasing her. Huh? Interesting. Guess the sergeant gave all her cadets the same spiel. You're right, Captain.、Uh, that wasn't necessary at all. So, that. 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 So, And Unit A01 is composed entirely of young soldiers she took under her wing. Shirogane, Hitotso Shetoku. Yes. She may need Junjita Monotachi no Ikizamaya, so no Sheo, Ikinokota Monova, Hokorasu, Kataritsuko. So they are whatever age she took there. Psycho no Kuyona. Honor the memory, huh? I see. I guess the captain thinks I'm still having trouble coping with what happened to Sergeant Shinkuji, which is fair. 
戦場で儚く散っていく命が人々の記憶から消え去るときその命は本当の死を迎える。Yeah, that's something I know all too well, trust me. After all I've been through, I can finally appreciate what a blessing it is to have people to remember you. ゼータを殲滅し、真の平和を取り戻すまでは、軍務に準じた者たちへの供養は、残った者たちが誇らしく語り継いでいくことだけなんだ。You mean, as long as there's someone to keep their memory alive, humanity will live on and one day be victorious? Yes, ma'am. Captain, thank you so much. You could, pro uh, you could probably tell. I haven't really been able to find closure yet, huh? <laughs> But I think I'm g o i n g to be okay now. Sure, I haven't completely recovered, but at least I know what I have to do. Oh, look, look at me skipping lines.、Uh, I'm gonna make it up to Sergeant Jinguji, no, Margo Chan, by seeing this through to the end. But on top of that, I'll continue to pass on the lessons she taught me in both worlds. Okay. Right. だがこれまで説明した例は計画の黎明期から中期までに発生する副次的な任務に過ぎない第4計画が最終段階に到達した際に課せられるものこそが A01 部隊が追うべき真の任務なんだ Our true mission? 我々の史上任務それはあるものを支援し護衛することだ Double O unit? A certain something? So, A01 Butai, so no Arumono, Mamorta, and Hensei Sarita Butai to Kum Kagon de Onai. Is she talking about the double O unit? I mean, that's easily the most important thing related to Alternative Four. Though, if the captain's not going to mention her by name, I'd better keep my mouth shut. Maybe I should probe a bit to see how much she knows. And what exactly is this certain something? Zanendaga. Okay. Well, duh. If she does know, only Yuko Sensei is going to authorize. Only Yuko Sensei is authorized to divulge that information. Need to know. Yes. Even though we have the proper security clearance level, we don't have the need to know, which means we're not going to get the information. Yes. It's when, you only have,、uh, it's when you only have the right to be briefed on information that's absolutely essential for your mission. So that. 特殊任務部隊に所属しているとはいえ我々は英士であり現場の一軍人であることに変わりはないいかに最前線で戦域情報が共有されようが機密情報が公にされるわけではないのは分かるな、right. この場合我々が知るべき情報はあるものを守るという命令のみそれ Got it. 例えばこの時間もそうだ表向きは貴様の遅れを取り戻すための座学ということになっているが本当は手よく人払いをしただけのことだ。は理由は簡単だ。今まで私が話した内容の端々に本来であれば指揮官権限でしか触れることのできない機密情報があるからだ。光月副司令から貴様の任務遂行上ほとんどのことは話しても構わないと言われている。Cool. My new mission? Does she mean the tuning job for the double O unit? Hayase and Munakata de Atem Shirukota Gai Yusare Nai Joho, Shinni Shoi no Kisama Gai Yusare no Nazeka. So they were Kisama Gaso no Joho Shirukota Gai Shio to Sare Tiruka. Right. Shio Ninareva, Hanaraz Shirasare. Ima Shirasare Nai Noa, Shiru Shio Ga Naika. Yup. Yeah, makes sense. Yes. では説明を続ける。So even though this is Yuko Sensei's personal unit, that doesn't mean everyone gets to know all the details. Hell, I wouldn't be surprised if I knew things even the captain doesn't know. All I have to check with Yuko Sensei to find out how much I'm allowed to say. Yeah, that was the first lecture I've、uh, 
attended in a while, let alone paid so clench so paid such close attention to. Not because I missed them or anything, but just because it actually relate related to my primary objective. Meanwhile, back in the other world, I actually did feel kind of emotional to be back in class after so long, but I couldn't focus because I don't remember any of that material anymore. <laughs> Man, there's something really curious about Captain Izumi. She may have all the traits uh, demanded of soldiers in this world, but she still seems like a good person overall. I kind of feel like Sergeant Jinguji might have been the same way when she was around the same age. Thinking back on the story the captain told me from when she was a cadet and what Sergeant Jinguji told me of her first battle, I can definitely see it. It really makes me realize just how much easier she was on us. She was so kind to all of us. What's up, Susan Mia? Huh? Oh. Ah, Lieutenant Hayase. Well, technically I was correct. She is also Susan Mia, just the other one. Uh, sorry. A force of habit, I guess. Now, whenever I see a superior, I just salute on instinct at this point. It's kind of the opposite for me. Because cause when you're out on the flight line, it's a no hat, no salute zone. Because, you know, one, hats uh, get sucked off your head into an engine intake, and then you've just broken an engine, and that's bad. And two, uh, you're on a flight line with planes moving around and stuff, and you can't be wasting your time on saluting people when you could get run over. So I have to remember, like, when I'm walking in the parking lot at the commissary, to be like, oh, shit, oh, fuck, I actually have to salute people now, uh or when they might, or when there might be prying eyes watching, right? Uh, not to be rude, Lieutenant, but would you mind not calling me that? If you're being sarcastic, it wouldn't even bug me, actually. But while I may have gotten my act together now, it really doesn't feel right to be praised like that by another of Sergeant Jinguji's pupils. No, really, I'm not just being modest. Thanks. I'm really glad to hear that. Well, if you say so. Well, I'm glad you found it useful, but I really don't think I'm a genius or anything. Yeah, just take the compliment and move on. I'm sorry. Uh, like what? Yeah. Well, uh, they're right about that, but I've decided that I'm not going to let it hold me back anymore. That being said, though, I'm still not in the frame of mind to be graciously accepting compliments on my OS. So, uh, listen, Lieutenant. If I'm ever going to come to terms with what happened and start moving on, then there's something I need to say once and for all. It's not just a matter of carrying on her legacy. There's something else I have to do. Something I owe every pilot she took under her wing. I just wanted to apologize for failing to protect Sergeant Jinguji. Hello, hello man on a motorcycle driving it outside my house. How are you? I know she meant a lot to you and to everyone else in this unit. And it's my fault that she's gone. I'm so sorry. Huh? What? Is it really that simple for her? Even though I just sat there and watched Sergeant Jinkuji die? Sure, it may be irrational to hold it against me, but isn't that the natural response? Shouldn't she want to punch me or something to take out her frustration? You mean... It doesn't bother you at all that I was directly involved with your old mentor's death? 
悲しいとか悲しくないって話ならそれは私だって悲しいわよ Then how can you be so a b e a t all the time? You act almost like it doesn't, like it didn't even happen. Hey man, Takaru is just an empath, you know? He, he has his feelings and he, he wants people to know that he's feeling things. Huh? Well, that was the game plan. I was planning to, though. Yeah. I thought it might help bring some closure to you. But I feel like I have to try, or. I'm not asking for forgiveness, it's just the principle of the thing. Stupid, huh? Well, better than being drowned in praise I don't deserve. I really don't want to pick a fight with one of my teammates, but the thing is, my objective's changed. Defeating the beta isn't the end goal anymore, it's just step one. And while I'd hate for it to come to that, it's really not imperative for me to get along with these guys. In fact, considering what we're up against, it might actually be smarter not to get too attached to one another. That being said, though, I want to at least try to do the right thing and apologize when it's due. Whether they forgive me or not, I'm not gonna run away from my problems anymore. I'm not so sure about that. I think we just have different opinions on the matter. You might not think it'll help, but I'd appreciate it if you didn't force your views on me. Is this is something I have to do for myself? However, I also wouldn't want to be insubordinate. So, if you really don't want me to apologize, you can always order me not to. <sighs> Just say the word, and I'll lay off. <laughs> Your point being? Oh, what the hell, dude? Just gonna silence me by force, is that it? I guess she really is a military girl at heart, despite her laid back persona. <laughs> The hell did you say? Yeah, man, they're, they're trying not to hold it against you, but if you keep bringing it up, people are. Uh, it's gonna wear on them. Because it's our duty as survivors to use what we've learned here to save as many lives as possible. It's the only way we can ever make it up to those who, that, who, uh, who died so we could live. Right. Sorry about that. Ah, damn it. I almost made the same mistake all over again. I wasn't thinking about anyone but myself. Thank you, Lieutenant. I guess I just didn't realize what I was doing. No, all I did was run away and make things even worse. Right. Right. Well, 
Roger that. どうしても神宮寺軍曹のことを言いたくなったら、その時は。I won't talk about how she died. I'll talk about how she lived and how proud I am to have been her student. So that. What at the Hanasunda? Nina. Okay. Wow. So, so this is what a real surface pilot looks like, huh? In the previous loop, I only ever got assigned to rear guard missions. I was, I was never the real deal. But this? This is what it takes to survive in a real combat unit. Where death is always on your doorstep. And why's that? Got it, LT. Roger that. If I do, then by all means, pummel away. Man, that's the second time I've been hit by a girl recently. It's like whenever I think I'm doing the right thing, it always turns out to be the product of my own selfishness in a way that I hadn't even considered. God, I'm still so naive. I've really got to learn to start looking at the bigger picture. I guess in that sense, I'm lucky to have someone who will be this blunt with me. Mitsuki. Yeah, you may be blunt with me, but you want to have a blunt with me? Hey, ah, uh, Mitsuki. Ah, Haruka. Mogi Sen no data shuri, watta no? Oh, right. Uh, that's Lieutenant Hayase's first name. Or was it the other one? Fuck. Fuck. No, it's the other one that's Susan Mia. Oh, God. Oh, God. I'm wrong. I, I, was, I was wrong earlier. Uh, don't don't write in the comments. I'm sorry. Oh, both of them are here. Ah, I almost just saluted again. Oh, it feels so weird not to. Yeah, my hemorrhoids are acting up. Nah, it wasn't too bad. It's okay, Suzumi. I'm a fuck up at work, too. I'm used to it. So I can, I can sympathize. I remember the guys in the mock enemy units back uh, during the trial acting like this too. I guess it's pretty natural for commissioned soldiers to be casual with one another. I always thought respect for seniority was a much bigger deal, but maybe the pros just know exactly when to turn it on and off. Yeah. I guess I can understand wanting to keep the atmosphere light when you're in a combat unit and might be sent out to your death at any moment. And like tuna, like oh, and like Lieutenant Hayase said, it's probably just a part of the surface pilot code. That's just uh, how they manage to cope. But I feel like it goes deeper than that with these three. Uh, they seem genuinely close on a personal level. Uh, the first, the oh, the two first lieutenants graduated at the same time, and obviously the sisters would be intimate. But I don't get why Lieutenant Hayase would be so close with Su uh, Lieutenant Suzumiya's little sister. Sure, her squad passed the CCSE faster than ours did, but we did pretty fantastic in all our pilot training after that. In fact, we blew right past a lot of the other, a lot of the leaders. Uh, ooh, curriculum. There we go. I remember that word. I went to school once. Uh, so it's not like Suzumi has been with these guys that much longer than us. No, uh, just surprised at how. Uh, Intimate you are with your older sister's buddies. Yeah, it's kind of a weird, weird thing to be fucking latching onto, bud. Oh, really? Nope, nope, the beans are already coming out of the can. You gotta spill them all now. Ah, so that. 
Got a, got a bit of a girl crush there? Dang, Suzumiya's older sister might be more brutal than I thought. She just ignored her sister's pleas with a big old grin on her face. Wow. Suzumiya? Embarrassed? I really have a hard time picturing that. I see. That explains why she wanted to talk about their mock battle formations. But dang, Storm Vanguard? That's the most prestigious flight in any TSF unit. Not to mention, though, one with the lowest survival rate. Uh, that's why only the cream of the crop get assigned to it. So if Lieutenant uh, Hayase's Storm Vanguard won, uh, that makes her this unit second in command. わかってるよ、みつき。茜は同期の仲間の。それもあると思うけど、それだけじゃないよ、はるか。お、茜はね。はるかの分も頑張ろうとしてるんだよ。え?注意。それは。もうそういうのやめなさいよ。隠してたって
they were off-roading through the jungle, and those tires must have been caked with mud and dirt. She's lucky she got off with an infection and didn't have to get them amputated. So she did. Huh? Wait, her legs are prosthetic? Both of them? Wow, I had no idea. Damn, maybe I need to get my eyes checked. I couldn't tell the double O unit wasn't human either. Now, here's the question. Are they, like, artificial prosthetics? Like, they're, you know... Or are they, like, regrown human leg, cell growth, whatever prosthetics that they just fucking slapped on? Because, you know, the first one, if they're actually, like, non-organic prosthetics... Might, might be better for piloting because, uh, you know, when you're under heavy Gs, all the blood will want to flow down to your legs. And that's one of the things that causes people to pass out. Like when you see uh, see the, the, the fucking training pilot testers in the centrifuge and they're spinning them around and they're making the faces going and fucking passing out. That's because all the blood is leaving their head. But if you don't got no legs, uh, there's nowhere for the blood to go. So you can stay conscious longer. It's like in flight suits. They have... Uh, they have, like, I don't want to say quite, like, belts, but they do have things on their thighs that can, like, increase the pressure to, like, squeeze on their legs to keep the blood from flowing down there so they don't pass out in, like, heavy turns. Still, it's impressive that she managed to retake and pass the CCSE after an accident like that. She's really a lot stronger than she looks. Ah. Okay, so they're like artificial meat cell growth legs. Wow. So if it hadn't been for that accident, she'd probably be A01 second in command right now, huh? <laughs> ね、戦術機の操縦は多分下手だったと思うから、英氏になってたら特に死んでるはずよ。it seems like Suzumiya cares an awful lot about her older sister. She was always one of the popular kids back in my world, but she never seemed shallow or stuck up, really. Had a bit of a loner vibe, maybe, but seemed to really value her friends. Uh, so I'm guessing she probably cared just as much about her sister there as she does here. But, Chui, why did you任務でのあんたを見ていると危なっかしくてね。タイも心配してたわよ。え、タイが茜は黙ってコンツメるタイプだから結果が出ないと余計焦るでしょ。だからはるかにバラしておけばいい意味で力が抜けると思ってね。な
Huh? D oh, sorry, can you repeat the question? I wasn't paying attention. Oh, uh, I appreciate the offer, but... Uh, Suzumiya? Well, they're both Suzumiya. Yeah, I guess we are, huh? Huh? No, wait, seriously? Huh? Wait, seriously? Nah, it's fine. I'm sorry to have to turn down the invitation. Hold on a minute. Okay, okay. So there is a difference between the rank insignias. Okay. So second lieutenant just has the two... Two little... I don't want to call them... They're not chevrons because they don't point up. And they're not quite rockers either. But you know the two arrows pointing down... Okay, so two arrows pointing down is second lieutenant. Two arrows pointing down and a live line above them is first lieutenant. Cool. I'll have to see what the captain's wearing the next time I see her. I wasn't paying attention. Okay, then. If you'll excuse me. Right. Are those guys still eating? I was expecting to be talking with Lieutenant Hayase and her gang for that long. It's possible they've already finished eating and gone back to the rooms. <laughs> hmm? Ah! What's up, gang? Whew! Still here. I know the point was to act like nothing ever happened, but it would have been pretty tough to do that if I had to go visit them each individually in their rooms. In a one-on-one -on -one situation, it'd be hard to keep my mind off what happened, and a single slip-up could bring the conversation back around to the one topic I really don't want to discuss. So, I'm glad they're all here at once. Oh, oh thank God. Ooh, after how long that lecture was, I was worried you'd all gone back to your rooms by now. <laughs> yeah, I'm trying, I'm trying to deflect. I'm trying to deflect. Please, please, please don't bring it up. Uh, was that a two over the? Was that a little too over the top? Maybe. This is an intervention. Ah, uh, finally, someone breaks that awkward silence. I, I owe you one, Maya. Oh, gotcha. Well, I'm sorry to keep you all waiting then. Class rep. You're being a little sun sun right now. あなたこそ何度も入り口の方を見てたわよね。あいみね。違う。それはすごく首の運動。ええ。じゃあ反対方向もやった方がいいんじゃないの？まあまあ、二人ともお久しぶりに全員揃ったんだからさ。そ、そ
Thanks, Maya. Really, you guys? Uh, this means a lot. After what I did, I don't deserve such a warm welcome, but I am really grateful. Huh? Wait, you guys haven't eaten yet? Oh, right. Looks pretty open. You won't have to work too hard there, Tama. Ah, uh, hey! Uh, one of the captain gave these guys the same pep talk, or maybe they went over the whole surface pilot code thing in class. Uh, whatever, whatever it is, I can tell they're all trying to cope in their own way. No matter how bad it hurts, none of them are running away from their problems like I did. You guys are the real deal. If I hadn't lived through two or three years of this already, I never would have made it this far. Hope I can catch up with all of you before too long. そうね。本当に白金はすごいわ。あんな状態で任務に行けるんですもの。ああ、you're <笑> guys endured a lot more pain than I did. Huh? Dang, fucking real words coming from Ayamine, out of left field. Ayamine, uh, you have no idea how right you are. それに、私たちには大や注意たちがいた。英氏の生き様や流儀というものを目の前で雨を見事に実践されてはな。みんな、神宮寺軍尊のこと。uh, just like I thought then. The guys from A01 helped them out too. Huh? Uh, go where? I see. Might be a good chance for me to formally apologize to her and let her know I've come back. Alright then, let's do it. Mm. Yeah, for sure. Uh, you guys must be starving after waiting that long for me. Uh, hey, Maya, thanks for breaking that awkward silence earlier. <laughs> そなたが皆に殴られたら気の毒だと思ってな。ガチャ。わ。あ、ありがとう。よく無事に帰ってきたね。あ、ミスス・キョウズカ。本当偉いよあんた。そうやって無事に帰ってくることが一番偉いんだ
Iko-sensei is the kind of person who hates formalities of all kind, so I imagine she thinks this kind of thing is stupid too. Probably even more so in this case, considering she only saw Sergeant Jinguji as an old acquaintance slash useful subordinate. But it's important to me. I'm not going to let her uh, talk down to me for that. I'm trying not to be childish like that anymore. So. I get that you don't actually consider us equals, but I'm trying my best to do things properly now. And this was one thing I really needed to take care of. Yeah, if, if it helps you out, she's not going to think of it as pointless. Huh? あんたがそういうところを克服してくれるのは私にとってもプラスよ。だから歓迎すべき変化だわ。Well, God knows just how far in advance she's planning everything out. I'm starting to feel like this is a waste of time to even even talking about it, especially after what Captain Izumi told me earlier. I had a long talk with Captain Izumi today. I pre I'd appreciate it if you could tell me how much she knows about me. It's going to be difficult to work with her otherwise. そんなの全部話してたら夜が明けちゃうわよ。向こうの言ってることに合わせていれば大丈夫よ。あ、別に。ただ、どんなことがあっても相手が誰であっても絶対に教えない白金関連の情報が。いや、私が墓場まで持っていくつもりよ。I Yes, I'm aware. So, what do you need me to do? Double O unit. Looks like Sumika, and is supposed to be humanity's ultimate weapon. Debugging or tuning or whatever she calls it. How am I supposed to do that? Please do. Uh... Uh, talk to the uh, learn to communicate with the beta uh, super psychic soldiers so that way we can also try to talk to the beta I kind of remember I don't remember all the details to be honest let's see I think we went over this back during the early transfer experiments uh, just a minute I'm trying to refresh my memory オルタナイティブ計画の目的はベータとのコミュニケーション方法を模索するというものだった。1966年にスタートしたオルタナイティブ1は、諜報活動や和平交渉など、あらゆる目的を達成する必要に迫られた結果、招集されたのよ。言語学者から数学者、各国情報機関の暗号解読チームまで投入して、ベータの言語、コミュニケーションの手段を確立しようと試みたの。ベータとコミュニケーションみたいな。彼らは… それで、オルタネイティブアワーはどうなったんですか失敗した。失敗そう。ベータの言語を解明するどころか、そもそも言語が存在するのかも謎のまま、計画は暗証に乗り上げて破棄されたの。
それを受けて1968年にスタートしたオルタネイティブ2はベータを捕獲しその生態を研究解明することで彼らとの直接的なコミュニケーションを図ろうとする計画だったわ研究ってその生態を把握するために彼らの肉体に対するありとあらゆる調査と分析が行われたわ思いつそれで何が分かったんですかだとベータはファクタどんな生き物も特定の環境下で生きるための特徴が備わっているでも彼らにそんな常識は通用しなかった火星や月といった生物に敵対的で過酷な環境下でも活動できる波外れた適応能力現在確認されている数種のベータには種を同定するための特徴は一切発見できず各個体には消化器官や生息器に当たるものも確認できなかった Which makes it weird that they have fucking mouths. So, in the Taramina Sushiri no Sevitsina, called on a Kavaki Jitsu Motsaka, you case is dead. Some of them have mouths. 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 s o 1973年、ベータの地球来襲をきっかけに、計画は第3段階へ移行。彼らが社会を形成し、人類に対し、組織的な行動をとっている以上、そこには必ず思考や意思があるはずだ。Yep, yep, Soviet super psychic soldiers. なかばやけくそなとやけくそベータの思考リーディングを目的とし、ソビエト科学アカデミーを母体に開始された人工 ESP 発現体の研究。それがオルタネイティブ3よ。思考リーディングを目的とした人工 ESP 発言体要するに、解剖してもわからない、話もできない。なら、やつらの心を読んでしまおうということよ。I mean, that point, fuck it, let's try literally anything we can. テレパシーとかそういうものですかどういうものを想像しているかわからないけど、頭の中にある思考を絵として。感情を色で読み取る能力。それがリーディング。あの、黙っていても会話ができるとか、そういうやつじゃ。Yeah, it's all kind of one way. そこまで直接的だったらいいんだけど、読み取った絵や色を言葉に翻訳するのは、その ESP 発言体の仕事。話を戻すわよ。はい。もともとソビエトでは、そっち方面の研究が国家プロジェクトとして進んでいてね。数世代にわたって計画的に ESP 発言体同士を結婚させてより強力な発言体を発生させてきたのよ。Why is she looking at Cosme? オルタネイティブ3ではその中でもリーディング特性の高い発言体を選んで子供を産ませていったんですね。そんなまだらっこしいことやるわけないでしょ She keeps looking over at Cosme. 人工授精で大量生産し遺伝子操作で特性を強化していったのよ。ままさか<笑>先生まさかそう、八代かすみはそうやって作り出された命のうちの一つよ。Test two, baby. Jinko Shikyu no Naka de Sodachi. Hahao any Dakareta Kotomo Nai. Yashiro was so you go. Are you kidding me? So na. So bet it, Jinta Shikyu Janai Deska. So ne. Jinu no Metsboga Genjits Nisematic Tay to Kimi. Dindi a doko, Dera de Naka. Yup. Yeah, Tashka, so come to the Naka. かなりやけくそでしょ。カズミ is a product of genetic engineering. Yes, we know this. No, it can't be true. That's insane. ヤシロは計画末期に開発された第六世代という最も完成に近い個体群なんだけど、その中でも彼女は優秀でね。同じ世代の平均を軽く凌駕する能力を持っているのよ。I see, so that's how she did it.、Uh, back when she drew that game guide for me, she must have read it from my memories. Leading the Nordic Nuajak Tenate, 
目標に一定以上接近しなければ正確に思考を読み取れないの。あ、そうだ、私は覚えてる。大勢の発言体が、ハイの発言体が、ハイブの発言体が、ハイブの発言体が、ハイブの発言体が、ハイブの発言体が、ハイブの発言体が、ハイブの発言体が、ハイブの発言体が、ハイブの発言体が、ハイブの発言体が、ハイブの発言ただ、運が良かったのか悪かったのか、ヤシロが実戦配備される前に、計画は第4段階へ移行した。はそれだけのことをしておきながら、オルタネイティブ3もダメだったんですか結果的に、リーディングには成功したわ。ベータにも思考があることが証明された。えそ、それで、ベータはなんて唯一分かったことはベータは人類を生命体と認識していないということ。ヒメニーズは、その人は、その人は、その人は、その人は、その人は、その人は、その人は、その人は、その人は、その人は、その人は、その人は、その人は、その人は、その人は、その人は、その人は、その人は、その人は、その相手に自分の思考や感情を絵や色といったイメージに変えて投影する能力のこと発言体たちはリーディングと同時に人類が考えつくありったけの和平のメッセージを彼らに投影し続けたんだけど全く反応なしそもそも彼らに平和という概念が存在しないのか生命体と認識できないから無視しているのか Which basically means this war is never going to end until one side annihilates the other. So, the people who are not going to be able to do this, they are not going to be able to do this. They are not going to be able to do this. They are not going to be able to do this. They are not going to be able to do this. They are not going to be able to do this. They are not going to be able to do this. They are not going to be able to do this. そしてオルタネイティブ3の成果を接収してオルタネイティブ4がスタートしたの1995年の話よというわけでオルタネイティブ3の成果であるヤシロがここにいるというわけ We're finally up to alternative four. So, what makes Kazumi so important to alternative four?、Uh, what would they need to、uh, age genetically modified Esper for? オルタネイティブ4の目的はゼロゼロユニットを完成させること。ゼロゼロユニット。あ、uh,、she mentioned that a few times now、uh,。could that be the secret weapon we need to defeat the beta。hearing about all our failures so far wasn't exactly reassuring、uh,。is this one really gonna be any different。話はここまでよ。okay、thank you for that nice long flashback。どう。思い出せた。Yeah, I'm good. じゃあ、先に進めるわよ。Okay。人類は、ベータとのコミュニケーション方法を確立するために、オルタネイティブ計画をスタートさせた。だけど、それは失敗の連続だった。その中でも、少ないながら、成果もあった。オルタネイティブ2で判明したことは何だった ?The carbon based life forms?The fact that、uh, the beta are carbon based life forms? じゃあ、オルタネイティブ3の唯一の成果は何だった They don't perceive humans as thinking, living things. That the beta don't see humans as living creatures. That's the one tiny piece of information we learned after sending so many Kazumi's sisters to their deaths. So, no, Tori. Karela が人類を生命体と見なしていない以上、人工 ESP 発言体のコミュニケーションはそれが限界。Huh? Wait, but how does that make sense? I'm、not sure why I didn't realize this before, but after listening to her summarize it like that, something doesn't seem to add up.、Uh, just to clarify, the beta are carbon based life forms, correct? But aren't humans also carbon based life forms? Okay,、uh, but in that case, why wouldn't the beta see other carbon based life forms as living creatures? <laughs> I mean, what the hell? They're intelligent life, and 
we they've clearly got the technology for interstellar, interstellar travel, so why can't they tell? Huh? Uh, how do you mean? So no Kaname there are Zero vital signs and zero organic material? Okay, so she's a 100% cyb- Android. Android. Androids are fully, fully cybernetic. Cyborgs are humans with cybernetic augmentations. Huh? Cool. We own with, with silicon-based? Non-carbon-based pseudo-life form? Then that means... つまり So, why can't we just keep using machines? Image or Gengo ni Henkan Surinua, Ningen no Shikonga Stionanio, Kikai no Sorena de Kine, Sono Gakumune. Human thought? What do you mean by that? I can kind of wrap my head around the idea of a non carbon based pseudo life form, but how do you recreate human thought? And for that matter, how the hell do you put a human consciousness in there? Is that parallel computer with 15 billion semiconductors you're always talking about really capable of that? Okay, I think I understand what the double O unit is and why it had to be made that way. So, then let's move on. But I have a question first. What? You said there was a need to give it a human consciousness or whatever so it could recreate human thought, correct? Yes. Well, since you're clearly able to create that artificially, what was the point of making the double O unit look like a human at all? <laughs> as long as the beta are seed as life, it doesn't matter what it looks like, right? Then why bother giving it soft skin and an accurate body temperature? To represent humanity? Uh, then I'd like to know what it is. All ears. That's good enough for me. Let's hear it. So, ne. Tatoeba, Shirogane, a jiconiate, O Yakedo, Tatosimaso. Hm, crispy. Antaga iski, or Torimodos Tatoki. Imama de no jibuntoa, Matakubet no singata katatinati tatostara. Tascat de yokata de omokasira. What the hell is she talking about? Tata de sa jiko yakega de se sin teki damage you get a chokugoyo. I can I kinda kinda see where we're going with this. Putting putting essentially a human consciousness into something non human would be kind of fucked up. So you're trying to mitigate that as much as possible. What does that have to do with anything? Answer the question. Okay, cool. But what does any of that have to do with the double O unit? Huh? あんただって、とっくに分かってるんでしょ。ふ、ふ、ふ、ふ、ふ、ふ、ふ、ふ、ふ、ふ、ふ、ふ、ふ、ふ、ふ、ふ、ふ、ふ、ふ、ふ、
加賀美澄香の姿形をしているのはその素材になったのが加賀美澄香だから That can't be true. そう思うのは勝手だけど事実なの加賀がどこかにいるはずよ All right. That's there's no way it, it can't be her. Why? Why is this happening? How could Sumika be the double O unit? You mean to tell me you turned this world Sumika into a pseudo life form? I was so relieved to find out that she didn't exist in this fucked up world. And now you're telling me that she's our secret weapon for winning the war? This is such bullshit. Wait, hang on a sec.、Uh, but Sensei. Nani yo. Aren't you the one who told me that Sumika didn't exist in this world? Yes, you did. Don't play dumb. Ah, alive admission. Nice. Ah, shit, 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 shit. Ah, she tricked me again, goddammit. Ah,、oh, you're being played like a fucking fiddle. I can't believe、ah, I was so gullible. I should have known better than fall for that. such a typical Yuko Sensei trick.、Uh, and yet, I've never once doubted her claim that Sumika didn't exist in this world.、Uh, I'm such an idiot. Even after seeing her go in and overwrite my death certificate in the UN's databases. Even yesterday, I, I intentionally ignored the possibility that I'd been lied to, all because I desperately wanted to believe it was true. No. この世界に戻ってきたんじゃなかったのなんだったらもう一度装置を動かしましょうか Don't patronize me. I'm not gonna run away. Don't jump to any conclusions, please.、Oh, this has nothing to do with that. Just give me a little time to let this sink, sink in. Sheesh. I'm not going to try and pin the blame on Yuko Sensei. That won't accomplish anything at this point. Sorry, I'm just a little frustrated by how naive I've been. That's all. <laughs> I mean, I'm also pretty pissed at you, to be honest, but I recognize that's just a product of my own immaturity. I'm not going to keep using my childish sense of right and wrong as an excuse to justify my own weakness. I'm done with arguing for the sake of arguing. I'm tired of blaming everyone else for my own shortcomings and stupid mistakes. I'm not going to do it anymore. All that ever does is make things worse. That's something I had to learn the hard way. I want to get to the point where I can actually face you as an equal someday. <laughs> and when I get there, I'm going to take full advantage of your abilities and use them to help me achieve my own goals. So, don't, so you don't have to worry about me running away again. I can promise you that much. <laughs> that said, I can't just change who I am overnight. All I can do for now is focus on improving myself and try to fake it till I make it. <laughs> You probably know this from our discussions during the transfer experiments, but Sumika really does mean the world to me. I don't care if it's a parallel universe version of her, the feeling, those feelings still apply. <laughs> Maybe you already knew that and planned this entire thing around the assumption that I'd fight my heart out for her sake. But if that's the case, I'm afraid you've made a ma major miscalculation. I'm not mature enough to perform at my best with all of these unanswered questions burning a hole in my gut. I'm not proud of that, but it's a fact. And sure, you could just tell me to deal with it and force me to go, but that could potentially backfire on you, right? Though, knowing you, I'm sure you've already taken that into account. But that's kind of my point. You don't leave things by chance, to chance. So why would you entrust something as important as the double O unit to someone like me? I'm guessing you must be pretty desperate. I mean, You're certainly not the kind of person who'd give me this gig just out of pity so that I could, that I'd、uh, have some place to stay. <laughs> so, with that being said, I have a request to make. I want you to tell me, in as much detail as possible, what the relation is between this world's version of Sumika and the double O unit. Or, at the very least, an explanation as to why she was chosen to become it. If you can just clarify that for me, I'll follow any order you might throw at me. No questions asked. What are you talking about? You're not going to be able to do it. I'm 
話すのは構わないだけどあんたは本当に真実を知りたいのかしらね I won't be able to keep moving forward until I do. タイミングって大事だと思うけど Yeah, and、uh, that time is now. そう、わかった。じゃあ、あんたの成長を信じることにしましょう。Thank you. で、何から話す Well, Yuko Sensei, I think we should begin next time in Mob Love Alternative. Thank you for watching, everybody, and I hope to see you again next time、uh, where Yuko Sensei will finally spill the beans. So, Thank you for watching. Once again, hope to see you then. Later.